so hello students uh, so in this class we are going to solve a problem on uh, for a simply supported beam on which a eccentric point load is acting so in our previous class we have seen the theory behind what is the uh, how do we solve such problem using maculus method okay so we have seen the theory now we'll just use that application we'll use the formula and calculate what is the deflection for such uh, uh, type of beam okay means such a beam simply supported beam with eccentric point load and then we'll see one more problem where multiple loads are acting on the simply supported beam okay so two problems we are going to solve here let's see the first question so this is our question find deflection under the load okay deflection under the load and what is maximum deflection for a simply supported beam of length 6 meter which is carrying a point load of 40 kilo newton okay 40 kilo newton at a distance of 4 meter from the left end and also calculate the point at which maximum deflection takes place okay so there are three things we have to calculate we also we have to calculate deflection under the load and the maximum um, deflection okay uh, this we have to calculate now let us see uh, uh, let us write down the data let's see. so this is our question so data given to us as this particular beam it is of span 6 meter so i am directly writing here L is equal to 6 meter is given span so we can convert it into millimeter then load is given as 40 kilo newton 40 kilo newton load so we can write it as 40,000 newton and then distance of point load from the left support so this is A right A this is B so A is 4 meter then B will be 2 meter okay so we can write b is equal to 2 meter and a is equal to 4 meter now we know what is yc yc is let us consider yc is deflection under the load that is our question also deflection under the load and y max is maximum deflection So two things we have to calculate. So here we know the uh, by theory we know what is the deflection here or uh, what is the formula for deflection. So yc is minus w into y square b square divided by 3 e i l. Now here though it's given that two things deflection under the load and what is the maximum deflection you know so we have to understand actually these two things for this particular case it's one and the same because there is only one load is acting so maximum deflection is nothing but the deflection under the load okay so we are actually calculating this is yc is equal to y max so now we simply substitute the values so uh, we get w is 40,000 newton into a is 4000 square b is 2000 square and then this is 3 into 2 into 10 power 5 high value is this then length is 6000 meter so with this yc we are getting it as minus 9.7 millimeter okay so whatever maximum deflection and deflection under the load so this is a simple uh, question where you have to remember the formula and yes the procedure behind this we have already discussed in previous class now like now let's consider the next question when there are multiple loads are available okay so such question how to solve using maculus method so this is little Next question is little uh, lengthy, so let's go for it. So this is a question. 
Here, a simply supported beam of length 6 meter is, sub is uh, subjected. Uh, this is a simply supported beam, okay? And it is carrying two point loads, okay? So, one is 48 kilonewton and other is 40 kilonewton at a distance of 1 meter and 3 meter respectively from the left support. And E and I values are given. So, it, we are supposed to find out what is the deflection under each load, what is the maximum deflection and then point at which deflection occurs, okay? So, these things we have to calculate and we are going to use Maculay's method. So, let's start with the solution for this particular question. Okay. So, data given here as I is equal to 85, 85 into 10 power 5 millimeter raised to 4. E is given as 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square. So, First, we have to calculate reactions. Okay, load is given. What is the reaction? Now, you know, uh, we, we have call, uh, solved number of problems. How to calculate reactions here? So, first, for this, let us quickly do here. Summation of forces in y direction is equal to 0. So, what is Ra plus Rb is equal to 48 plus 40, 88 kilonewton, right? Then, consider moment about any one support. So, let us consider moment about support A. So, now this is one equation. Uh, use other equation. So, how we will write moment equation? Rb. Rb into total distance is 6 meter. Total span is 6 meter. So, Rb into 6 uh, anti-clockwise. And then this is clockwise. This is clockwise. Okay. So, Rb into 6. So, we can simply write in uh, at other side. Then we can write 48 into 1 plus 40 into 3 okay so with this we will get rb value as 28 kilonewton and ra as 60 kilonewton okay so total load is 88 88 okay so ra we got it as 60 kilonewton and rb we got it as 28 kilonewton now once we are done with the reaction, now let us consider the Maculay's method. Now let us start using this method. So consider the section X in the last part of the beam. Okay. So we are having two loads here. So let us first, let me just name. This is point D. This is point C. Okay. Now let us consider the section in the last part. So let us consider here the section, last part of the beam that is DB. At a distance x from the left support A. Okay, so here let me just this is our distance x from support A. Okay, now when this is x, now let us uh, write down the equation. Okay, so moment equation, if you remember, moment Ei d square y by dx square, Ei d square y by dx square is equal to now this is Ra, Ra into total x right so i can write r a i can also write it as 60 because r a value is 60 so r a into x this is first equation for this part now uh, we have to write a second uh, we have to consider the second load okay so what we will write 48 into x minus 1 okay this is x total x minus 1 and uh, we are considering moment about any uh, this part okay so, how we will write Ra into x minus 48 into x minus 1. Now, third part, 40 into x minus, this is total x minus 3, right? Because load into perpendicular distance. So, we need this distance. So, x minus 3. So, minus 48 into x minus 3. So, when multiple loads are there, you can see there, there is a part to the equation. So now we just draw a dotted line. Let us separate it. One, two. Okay. So one, two, three. Three parts of the equation. Okay. So this is our moment equation. Now integrate above equation. See, don't get confused that where we are separating. We have simply 
return okay this is moment equation we know and here we have written at any we have simply consider moment about at any distance in the last part of the beam why we have considered last part because we want to include all the parts because we want to find out what is the deflection so overall when we consider the last part of the beam then we can get equation overall equation so that easily then uh, after substituting distance uh, value x uh, we can easily find out y right why is the deflection or the vertical uh, distance right so here we have done with the first equation so now let us substitute uh, ra value here 60 into x minus 48 x okay now integrating above equation integrating integrating above equation we can write integrate it ei dy by dx it will become 60x will become 60x square by 2 plus constant of integration we will use for the first part as we have described in the theory then minus 48 this whole term again we will integrate x square by x minus 1 square by 2 similarly here x minus 3 square by 2 okay so let us write the equation ei into dy by dx 60x square by 2 plus c1 then there is a dotted line minus 48 x minus 1 square by 2 minus 40 x minus 3 square by 2 so when we simplify it 2 ones are 2 2 30 so we can write it as 30 x square plus c1 then minus 24 x minus 1 square then third part minus 20 into x minus 3 square okay so this is after integrating once now again we will integrate this equation okay integrating the above equation again integrating above equation again so we get ei into y is equal to 30 x cube by 3 plus c1 into x plus c2 then dotted line then minus 24 x minus 1 cube by 3 okay so 3 ones are 3 3 8 are 24 so if we simplify it uh, we can write it as x minus 4. Anyway, I will write again next step. Minus 20 x minus 3 cube by 3. Okay. So, rewrite the, uh, again simplify the equation. So, next page. E i into y is equal to 10 x cube plus c 1 x plus c 2 then dotted line minus 8 x minus 1 cube minus 20 by 3 x minus 3 cube okay so we have arrived at this particular equation so previous equation uh, let us 20 by 3 so this was our equation ei dy by slope equation was this okay so let us equation uh, give the slope equation as number one and then let us give our deflection equation as number two so deflection equation let us name it as number two okay so now we have to calculate what are the constant of integration once we get it we will again substitute and finally we'll get uh, slope and deflection so now to calculate c1 and c2 okay c1 and c2 whenever we have to calculate we have to use uh, boundary conditions so boundary conditions there are two boundary conditions two boundary conditions so boundary conditions number one at 
x equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and at x equal to 6 meter, y equals to 0. Okay, both end of the span. So this is a beam and this is a b at x equal to 0, y is 0 at x equal to c, y is equal to 0. Now substitute the first boundary condition. Substitute the first boundary condition and that is at x equal to 0, y equal to 0 in equation number 2. Okay, let us substitute it here in this equation number 2 and when we consider the complete equation uh, because here we are considering complete equation because x equal to 0 it lies in the first part of the beam. So, uh, we are substituting this uh, boundary uh, values in equation number 2. Okay. And here, uh, when we are substituting into, we are considering only first part of the equation only. Okay. First part of the equation. So, let us uh, substitute. So, we can write here, when we substitute here, only first part of the equation, when x equal to 0, y equals to 0, you can see if you substitute here 0, it will become 0, 0, 0. So, you get c2 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is, uh, we are done with the first part, uh, first boundary condition. Now, let us consider the second boundary condition. So, at x equal to 6 meter, y is equal to 0. So, second boundary condition, now we are going to again substitute in equation number 2. Okay, and here we will use the complete equation. Okay, here because we have our boundary conditions at x equal to 6 meter because it is capturing whole area. In this case, it was at this point only. So, we have considered just the a small part of the equation but for this it is x is going till 6 meter full area so we are considering the full equation so again substitute these values in above equation then when you substitute x equal to 6 here and y equal to 0 then what we'll get just let us write it here so 10 into uh, x is equal to 6 6 plus c1 into 6 plus 0 minus 8, 6 minus 1 cube, minus 20 by 3, 6 minus 3 cube. Okay, C2 is 0. Uh, C2 is 0 here. Okay, so we have written 0. So when we sim simplify it, we can write it as 2160 plus 6C1, 6C1 minus 8 into 5 cube minus 20 by 3 into 3 cube so 2160 plus 6 c1 minus 1000 minus so we will arrive at 980 plus 6 into c1 so here we can get the value because it is equal to 0 so our c1 value is when you solve it, we get C1 as equal to minus 163.33. Okay. Now, we have done with C1 and C2. So, substitute these two values again in equation number 2. Okay. So, when we substitute these two values in equation number 2, we get EI into Y is equal to 10x cube minus 163.33. So, our this is... Uh, you know, we are getting our bending equation here, uh, sorry, deflection equation, minus 8 into x minus 1 cube, minus 20 by 3 x minus 3 cube. So, we have arrived at equation number 3, okay, look at, uh, see this equation carefully. So, this is our deflection equation, okay. So, uh, deflection under first load. So, what we have, we can use this equation for uh, wherever, whichever point we want to know the deflection, okay, in the beam. Now, our question is, uh, what is the deflection under the uh, each load? So, for the first load, okay, first, uh, there are two loads. So, one load is acting uh, at 1 meter and there is other load, it is acting at 3 meter. Uh, 6 meter beam means I should have drawn it here. So, okay, so we have to find out deflection at each load. So, we have, we will be using this equation. So, let's, I am uh, taking a new page. 
so let us consider we will solve the first part of the problem okay so here deflection under the first load deflection under first load that is at point c so what is how how we are going to get it so we will get by when we substitute x equal to 1 in equation 3 okay the latest equation what we got deflection equation so let us substitute x equal to 1 in uh, equation number 3 so with this when we do calculation ei into yc deflection at c is equal to 10 into 1 cube minus 163.33 into 1 okay so when we solve this okay so uh, here after solving this we arrive at when we substitute ei value okay so we get yc is equal to minus 9.019 millimeter okay so this is give uh, uh, we are getting answer as negative means deflection is downward okay that means deflection is downward we are getting now let us see what is the deflection under second load what is deflection under second load that is at point b now this we can calculate when we substitute x equal to 3 meter because that load is acting at x equal to 3 meter. So again substitute this in equation number 3. Okay. When you substitute again uh, do the same calculation. So here EI into YD is equal to 10 into 3 cube minus 163.33 into 3. Okay. You can see the equation. We have simply sub. Uh, this is three q. Okay, so when uh, ten into three q minus one sixty three into three minus eight into three minus one q. Okay, so when we substitute this, we arrive at y d is equal to minus sixteen point minus sixteen point seven millimeter. Okay, so we get the uh, yd now the last part of the question that is we have to calculate what is maximum deflection okay so this part is we have to calculate what is maximum deflection so here for maximum deflection now the deflection we have to see that there are two loads acting so one load uh, in this beam one load is acting here which is 48 kilo newton and other load is 40 kilo newton okay this is our beam a b c d so where could be the maximum deflection maximum little more load is there at the point c okay so the deflection is likely to be maximum at a section between c and d so there is possibility that deflection will be somewhere maximum in this portion okay so and uh, we also know that for maximum deflection slope should be zero okay so for maximum deflection maximum deflection slope will be zero slope should be zero so hence uh, let us equate the equation number one equal to zero up to the second dotted line okay so what was our previous equation equation number one we have to consider only till the second dotted line because that is the second part of the equation so if you see this our equation number one okay so we are going to use this is the slope equation right so we are going to use only this part of the equation till the second dotted line because this is the still this uh, part is of the equation is till this point okay so here coming to for the for maximum deflection when we consider for the till the second dotted line so when we substitute values here we get it as 30x square plus c1 minus 24x minus 1 square is equal to 0. Okay. So this gives us 30x square minus 
minus 163.33 minus 24 when you open the bracket x square plus 1 minus 2x is equal to 0 so next part of the equation i am writing in this way in this this side so here we arrive at Six x square plus forty eight x minus one eighty seven point three three is equal to zero. Okay, so this is a quadratic equation. We are arriving at the quadratic equation. So solve. Let us solve the x value. So x value is nothing but minus forty eight plus or minus. If you remember the formula, forty eight square plus 4 into 6 into 187.33 divided by 2 into 6. So we get x is equal to 2.87 meter. Okay. So now once we get this x value substitute let us substitute in deflection equation. Okay. So to get the deflection. So let us substitute this x value and to get the our substitute x is equal to 2.87 meter in equation 3 so we arrive at e is equal e into i into y max is equal to 10 into x cube okay our formula equation number 3 uh, if you see it is 10 x cube so x is nothing but 2.87 cube minus it was 163.33 x 163.33 into x is 2.87 minus 8 into x minus 1 cube 8 into x is 2.87 minus 1 cube okay so when you solve this we arrive at minus 284.67 into 10 power 12 newton mm square okay this is ei y max ei y max so y max will be y max will be substitute the values of e and i Two into ten power five into eighty five into ten power six. So we get minus sixteen point seven forty five millimeter. Okay. So Macaulay's method it's actually very simple and uh, looks a little lengthy, but it's simple and easy to understand. So students, hope uh, you have understood uh, this uh, these two problems we have solved here. And uh, thanks for listening.